Disclaimer, if you don't like the dark, do not watch this video. Let's go. You can't see me, that's the point. Someone's crawling up the roof. Kenny the Ripper acting. He's shooting away like a cowboy. Yep, there's blood. Oh, Kenny just killed someone. Pew pew. Oh, someone else just died. Blood. Yeah, for the public, that is a gruesome scene. Will you... Oh, uh, wait, Inspire just ruined her Ymir. She's not gonna take the seer. When in doubt, remember Ymir. Of course, Rod Reese, the dude is trying to ejaculate her with serum. By her, I mean his story. I got mad and respect him in the first one. He just flipped her father off of the ground. Yeah, he kinda wanted her to eat Aaron. And for the sake of it, Kenny's there because he's an actor. But by here, I mean they're at the ice cream. She's saving Aaron. He basically gives Aaron words of encouragement. Quit being a crybaby and exterminate all the titans. A girl tells you stop being crybaby, that's how you know. That's how you know you're a crybaby. Hurt this dude is on the ground about. Yeah, he's licking up the serum. And becomes the world's biggest titan because. He just, just, he just wanted to. By the way, Hange, my bae got hurt at that cave. I'm not gonna show that scene. She's my bae. I'm not gonna show my bae getting hurt. But now Rod Reese is at the wall, getting destroyed by the survey court. Boom. Now we're doing a side by side comparison. Rod, um, not Rod, oh my god. Barefold versus Rod Reese, who won for the most dramatic effect rising over a wall in kids' scene effect. I think Rod Reese. I mean, come on, the dude's insides are really slouching all over the wall. I'm gonna point out the obvious that thing is huge. His hand just smashed the wall. Not literally, like, he grabbed him on the top of the industry. That thing is horrifying, it's faceless. Survey cords are lit in that dude up. When in doubt, go for the hands. And now he's falling. Go see that mofo fall sideways. Or, oh, he falls sideways, that's good. You know, you, you don't want him to fall frontwards. Aaron, like, boss, he's running towards him with a bag of explosives. He looks like a mom, like, giving a kid, like, a freaking, his lunchbox if they forgot. Aaron just threw that joint into Rod Reese's mouth. <clears throat> oh, kaboom. Goodbye, Rod Reese. Nice knowing you. Okay, next. Mr. Ray becomes the queen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not crying, obviously. Although, I am very happy for her. The best part's about to come. Any moment. She punched Levi. Nobody touches Levi without living. That's how you, you know she, he has respect for her. In the case of Levi, it's like, you have touched me, you must die now. It's her, he has respect for her, so he, he didn't do that. You know, I already did a video on Aaron versus Reiner, but, you know, I kind of want to see Aaron kind of, you know, stomp Reiner again. Aaron have these weave skills, like, out of the park. Weave. Aaron weaves like a boss. You better thank Annie for that. Look at this, he just shoves that dude. Weave again. Oh, punches the crap out of Ryder. Punches the shit out of Ryder. Punched him so hard, he gave him flashbacks. I'm gonna watch the rest of this. It's Aaron just stomping Ryder. But I'm glad to cut over to the survey corpse about to do some damage to Ryder. They take those thunder spears and spear him into the eye. You know, I know you're a gigantic-sized human, but that's gotta hurt. One word, kaboom. No survey corpse doing casual stuff flying through the air with their equipment. Basically, thunder spear the crap out of his nape. And yeah, just kaboom has that face that he realized he's about to get his ass kicked. I like how Levi's just dragging Berthold. And Levi just sits in there and dies like, yeah, you, you sit here and die. Levi be cold like that, you know? If you touch him, he'll basically kill you. Unless you're a story of the, or the other candidates of the survey club. Can we take a moment of the fact that Berthold charcoal Armin? He really looks like some charcoal. Bad for Armin. No, he was about to die this scene. I mean, Erwin too, basically. You know, Levi's gonna jack him with the serum, but like, Erwin subconsciously moved his arm so that Levi didn't do it. Erwin's dream was go to the basement. I did it. Of course, Levi remembering stuff from, you know, with him and Erwin. We cut over to Barrett. Oh, and that's when he sees his friends. He's like, guys, help me! <laughs> Goodbye, Barrett. No one's gonna help you. That Titan took him and head first. For back to bear fold. I mean, I don't wish death upon nobody. But they weren't going to help him. I don't know what he expected. Here's my motive. I do not wish no death upon nobody. Keyword, do not. Also, Armin got the Colossus Titan. The dude deserved it. 
you know, at the same time, what did he do in the series? He came up with plans. I mean, that's a good enough reason to get him the closet side of We're here, guys. We're at the basement. And we just just opened up the book. The first thing they see is a picture. Grisha, Nina, and Zeke Yager. We have a flashback of Erwin. A flashback of a conference. We're basically living through Erwin's life, you know, when he was, he was in the survey corps. I have mad respect for that guy. If anybody dies and tackles to a conference meeting, we have successfully took back Wall Maria. Let's go. Everybody's happy and they're cheering. Because why not? We have a flashback of Grisha Yager. Remember, he did get his sister killed. I mean, he didn't kill his sister, but like, let's say a rich, a rich, chubby guy killed his sister. The back of dogs. Hey, wait a minute, was that a blimp? Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever in the Attack of Titan anime, there has been a blimp. Faye. She got ate up by dogs. That is probably the most brutal way to die. Dina. She better get ejaculated. She got ejaculated. The serum. She said she will find him. Deep words. Deep words. Even though Aaron did kind of kill her. Then Aaron woke up crying, being traumatized. Traumatization 101. Oh, they're in there for breaking the law. Don't, don't question my authority. <laughs> South Park reference. And of course, Aaron now remembers that Titan was Dino. Way to go, Aaron. You just killed your father's first wife. I mean, he technically, he did it so subconsciously. I mean, he didn't mean to. He did the Titan roar of the founding and then ordered all the Titans are around him to kill Dino. Of course, Grisha's mad because he just realized that the guy just let the dogs eat his sister fit. I mean, it's pretty messed up. I would be mad too. You know someone's messed up in the head if they want to see someone be eaten by a titan. A gigantized human being eaten by an another human. Well, a human a human being eaten by a gigantized human. Aaron Kruger just pushed that mofo off the leg, looking cold as ever. And that guy got eaten by a titan. It ain't so much, it, see guy, it ain't so much fun when it's you being eaten, isn't it? Aaron Kruger's transforming, and what he's about to transform into is epic. This guy lives a warship, basically a, a warship, lifts it on his back and becomes the attack zone. Let's go. In the ocean, oh, sorry. The animation in the ocean scene is magnificent. It's just gorgeous. I could just eat it. Or drink it. <laughs> oh, look how happy they are. They're all splashing each other. Gene just said it's salty. Well, no, no duh, Gene. It's the ocean. And my bay's in the water, too. Tongue gay. Sorry, I'm, I don't mean to be preferred it sometimes, but it just happens. Armin found a seashell. The dream happened. Aaron and Armin. They got to the ocean. Or the shore. Aaron's giving off one of his other inspirational speeches. Well, they're all playing around, tackling each other. Man, this is... This is what it likes to be an AOT fan. Scenes like this one. Aaron says people who are waiting on them on the other side of the ocean are enemies. You know, which to extend he's not wrong. Animation though, just, I can't get enough of it. You know, I didn't like season 3's animation, but this scene right here convinced me that it's the best animated season. Alright, what I'm going to show you is now the reactions to the openings, which opening one of season 3's opening up with casual stuff. Mika set, Armin, Aaron. Oh, they're kids. Now they're teenagers. You, know, you can really tell this opening is only going to focus on Mika, Sat, Aaron, and Armin. They probably have the most screen time in this opening. Oh, oh, they're kids. Oh, they're teenagers again. Oh, Levi's a kid. Levi's a kid. Oh, he's holding a knife. That's not surprising. Oh, Kenny's in the opening. Everybody turns into kids, into teenagers, into adults in this opening. I like how little Aaron's reacting to teenage Aaron. It was a nice touch by the animation. Oh, look, they're kids. Oh, now they're teenagers again. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're not one of my favorite AOT openings, but it's still a good one. The second opening's better. Alright, here we go. Second opening. Oh, explosions. It's not an AOT opening, but that explosions. I love the artistic style for this opening. Rainbow Splash. Look like It makes it look like a freaking... Freaking slide. Not like a slideshow, but like something you see out of a slideshow. I'm talking about the coloring, of course. Not the animation. The animation in art style is fantastic. We see the Colossus Titan. Oh, the Attack Titan. Oh, the Titan's forming. Everything. Oh, the Beast Titan. Zigogger, he can pitch. Everything's in slow motion in this opening. It really gives you that 
2000s feel to it. And of course, it's not an AOT opening without someone freestyling one vertical movement. Equipment. Oh, a bunch of things are happening. Oh, uh, 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 no, oh, geez, I can't keep up. We got shown the desert. The basement. Epic. Mm. So that was it for this video. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked it, the like button. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And hit that gray bell to be notified when I make a new video. I am signing out.